quantizing audio within Studio One Three is a pretty simple thing to do. Uh, here in this example, we have a basic guitar part. There's four strums, and we'd like th for each drum to be on the downbeat. Uh, we're in 4-4 four, four time, 120 beats per minute. So as the uh, audio event is and the guitar playing is right now, let's go ahead and hear that back to the click track, and we'll hear how the second and third notes are not hitting on the downbeat, and we want those on the downbeat. Okay, so in order to quantize, we just want to be sure that we have this audio event selected. And I'll go ahead and press Q on the keyboard. And we want to keep in mind that whatever our quantize value is set to up here, that will affect how these are moved. So let's see what happens when we have this on 16th note. And it's not how we want it. Um, because it's it basically moved this to the nearest 16th. And that's not really going to help us. So let's control Z, undo that. And let's take this to say half. And I'll press Q. And it got this one right. But this one hasn't been corrected. So if we're not getting the adjustments that we want, we can press 7 on the keyboard to access the Ben tool. Go ahead and hover over on that Ben marker and watch that icon change. I can then drag that and now each strum is on the downbeat. Let's go ahead and play back and hear how that sounds. Okay, and that is what we want. And we can tell what's been done when we're manipulating this uh, audio um, by quantizing. By looking at this arrow here, we see this left-facing flag tells us that this particular marker was moved to the left and we also know that because this is red so it's being stretched the further it's being stretched the darker red this is going to be so this one has also been stretched and these are a bit green the green shows that something is being compressed a little bit now if I go ahead with the bend tool and select this one here you can see we have that left-facing flag indicating that it's been moved to the left which we also know that by uh, seeing the red color. I'll select that one and for some reason that is indicating that it was moved to the left but it's green. If I were to continue to pull that and it turns red so it must just not be moved enough to turn red. Anyhow I will control Z and take this back as it was. Also know that we can come to the Ben panel and access Quantize under the Action section. We also have a Strength control. So we could lower that and that is going to affect the start amount within the Quantize panel. So let's go back to that Ben panel. So adjusting that 46% and then if I you see here that the start is now 46%. If I raise this back to uh, 100 and come back to the Quantize panel, we can see that the start is at 100. So we would just be sure our audio event is selected, hit Apply, and we've quantized it. If the automatic adjustments that Studio One is making are not what you um, would like, you saw that we can press 7 and then use the Bend tool to drag that. Uh, keep in mind that Snap to Grid is on. If you would like to have even finer control, just go ahead and deselect that or press N on your keyboard and then you can move that wherever you'd like. If you would, let's go ahead and zoom in a bit because these are kind of not on the downbeat exactly. This highlighted area basically represents what Studio One considers to be the complete transient. So this is going to affect how it quantizes. If I hold down Alt, then we can move 
this bend marker and place it wherever we'd like. So if we want to put it there, we can drop it there. And then we can go ahead and adjust that and tighten that up a bit. Um, and so again with here, hold down Alt and move that forward. And now we've got it right at the very beginning of this strum. I'll go ahead and zoom back out. We can also hit Shift Q on our keyboard to undo our uh, quantization. So I've made manual adjustments, so that's not going to work. But if I Control Z and just return that back and go ahead and hit Q to quantize that and then shift Q and you can see that that is undone.